and today I'll be teaching you guys on how to install and write your first script in Perl. Okay, Perl is a very simple programming language, and it allows you to write programs for your website. So allows you to write web applications, and also Perl allows you to do exploits. Uh, exploits are a program which hackers use to hack into uh, to find vulnerabilities or hack into a system. Most exploit there are seventy percent of exploits are written in Perl. So Perl has lots of advantages, and let's get started. So first, you have to install Perl. So to do that, click the link in the description below. It will take you to this web page here, perl.org, get.html. Okay, so right here you have to download a Perl distributions. For Linux or Unix operating system, a Perl is already included, but it might not be the latest or it might not be even installed. So you have to update it or install it using a terminal or you can download active Perl instead. For Mac, just like Linux, it's already included but it might not be latest so you can either do it with terminal or you can download active Perl. For Windows, it's not even installed so you, uh, you have to download Strawberry Perl or active Perl, active state Perl. Okay, so first I'll teach you guys on how to install it on a Linux operating system first, then the Mac, and then the Windows. Okay, so for a Linux operating system, uh, I'm using Ubuntu by the way. So first what you can do is go open up your terminal. Okay. So first we'll have to log in as root to do to apply changes to our computer. So we we'll have to type in sudo space bash enter. Then you have to type in your password. Now we are root, we have to install or update Perl. Okay. So type in sudo space apt get install pull. Yeah, hit enter. And you should start installing, it will take about five to seven minutes to install. But you can see mine's already installed, so it says pull is already the newest version, blah blah blah. But for you you should install it, take a few minutes to install the whole thing and get pull running. Okay, now to check whether pull is installed in your system, you have to type in pull space dash v and and you should say this is Perl 5 version 14 sub version 2 blah 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 every wall Perl maybe blah 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 so this means that Perl is installed and the latest version and all that okay so now for the Mac I can't really show you how to do it because first of all I do not have a Mac computer but I found this website called learnpool.org and it teaches you how to install it on a, on a Mac machine and Basically, it says that you have to install Xcode, which I guess that's your ID, through the Mac App Store, and it is not free. Apple charges a small amount for this, so you have to pay. And after downloading um, the ID for your Mac, you have to open up your terminal, which is in your application, your utilities, and you have to copy the code below, which is curl space dash l http forward slash xrl dot us forward slash install pull os x space vertical line space bash uh, don't worry about this i put the code in the description below okay so that's how you actually install it for the mac now for windows you have to download one of these strawberry pull or active state pull um, i'm just going to choose active state pull for windows so it will take you to this page and just go ahead and download the windows installer msi for your Windows machine. So after downloading it, uh, we need a an IDE for Perl. Okay, so it allows you to write Perl programs, allows you to debug your program, allows you to build your program, and all that. So um, you need a solid IDE, a good one. There are lots of IDEs. There's Eclipse, which is available for the Linux, Mac, and Windows. There's also um, uh, Padre, which is available for also Unix, uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows, and there's also lots more, and you can try one of them. But I'm going to use Padre because Padre is simple and easy to use. So go ahead and padre.polit.org. We'll take you to this page, Padre the Polo IDE. Hit download, and I teach you how to download it. For Windows, you go ahead and download the dwimpol.exe and 
it is about 47 megabytes and for Linux download the one for for corresponding to your Linux operating system and you have to do it through your terminal you can see it gives you the code right there for Mac you have to look through the installations uh, inst installation instructions over here but anyways after installing the IDE it's time to make the first program which is obviously gonna be hello world okay let's close our browser and let's open up our IDE part 3 now first of all what we have to type in is this compound slash usr slash bin slash pull okay basically this is just a code for a compiler telling your compiler is going to compli compile a pull program you don't have to worry a lot about this very simple now to make your program you have to actually tell your program to do something so we're going to use a print function to print out something on the screen so that in and add in quotation say hello world and add in a backslash ender and close the quotations and add in a semicolon okay basically we are telling Paul to print out say hello world so it will say hello world and this back backslash n is basically telling that anything that appears after after backslash n here it will basically appear below hello world so for example, I type in print. This is a test, and basically, this is a test will appear below hello world. If we did not add in this backslash n, this a test will appear side by side with hello world. I will show you how it works later. So now we just go and save this. Save this anywhere you want. I'm just going to call this tutorial. pl. pl. Click save. Okay, now we can go and hit the debug button, the play button, run, run the script. And you should see this, hello world, this is a test. Okay, we can close this. Now, if we did not add in the backslash n, this is how it will look like. Say hello world, this is a test, alright? So, that's how you do it, and thanks for watching, and hope you liked it, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos, and more video tutorials, and much more. And leave a comment below if uh, if you have any question and click the like button if this helped you. So again, thanks for watching. Have a good day. And this is a programmer signing off.